Hey guys, welcome back to Maison Wally. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're going to be unboxing my new Breville Barista Touch. Before we get into the video, don't forget you can always find me over on Instagram at Maison Molly where I make daily coffee recipes and of course we'll be debuting this one. Let's unbox it. Okay guys, so this is it, my new Rebel Barista Touch. It is an actual espresso maker. Um, I'll show you guys what the box looks like. This is kind of the front and then on this side we've got some coffee drinks. And this side, it's just the whole shebang low down of the machine um, and what it does. And then on this side, again, just some more coffee details, but let's get it out of the box. It was really hard for me to wait on this because I really wanted to do it with you guys. And I've had it for maybe two weeks now. So guys, this is future me telling you guys now something that I forgot to say. Um, just the process of how I got to purchasing this machine. Um, in 2019, I got my Nespresso Virtual Plus. I was super excited about it. I wanted a really simple and convenient way to make coffee. And hands down, it was the way to go. Once I tried that machine out, I was like, you know what? I want to try their original line pods. I want to try more espresso, right? And so I purchased the William and Sonoma machine and was able to buy a lot of her two um, original line pods and try that out. Um, and then this was just kind of like the next natural progression. A lot of you guys that have um, Virtual Plus machines that rock with me, I hear a lot of you guys saying now, oh, I want to try the original one. It's just the natural progression. And you guys will all end up here one day, I'm sure. So I'm happy that I'm a little bit ahead of the curve so that I can test it and try it out for you guys. Um, each year I do do a coffee gift for myself. So like I said, 2019, it was an Espresso Virtual Plus. 2020, it was the Nespresso recipe, barista recipe maker. And here we are, 2021 Christmas. My coffee gift to myself is the new Revel Barista Touch. Alrighty, here we go. So, more things to take out. So these are gonna be our filter baskets. Uh, more water filter things. Oh my God, how cool I'm gonna be. Well, I'm already an at-home barista, but now I'm gonna be like a super official at-home barista. The temp, I think that's what you call it, right? So much for me to learn, guys. This is the little thing that you use to like press your coffee beans down. Uh, comes with a cleaning kit. And then this says the razor. Let's see what this is. We're gonna figure all this out together, friends. Now on to the goodies. And now, the big reveal. More things. This is going to be our little milk jug, it looks like. For all my latte art I'm gonna be doing in 2022. Our grinder. Finally, the machine. Let's put it together. Okay, so we've got my Breville Barista Touch all unboxed. Um, I'll be a little bit out of focus just because I want to focus on the machine. But yes, we have it out of the box. And now we're exploring it. As I said, keep in mind, this is my first time. I have done some research, but I'm not a pro at this. I'm just someone who's excited to open and reveal to you guys my new coffee machine. So um, a few things about it. On the top is the, well, for starters, I love that the machine is this small. I expected it to be a lot bigger. And so it's perfect for home. You just need a little bit of counter space for it. Nothing too crazy. And it actually fits perfectly under my cabinets, which I also love. Um, the grinder is on the top. So you can just pop your beans on in there. Uh, let me close this. It comes with, I want to say this is called the portafilter, right? So this is what this is where when you grind your beans, it'll come in here. 
um, you'll put a basket in there of choice. So these are all the filter baskets that it comes with. This one says that it's for the coffee that you're grinding with the grinder. So freshly ground coffee. It comes with two. So there's one for a single shot and there's one for a double shot. The second one came in the porta filter itself. Um, and then this is the same thing, single shot and double shot for pre-ground coffee. So let's say you already have coffee that you bought from the store that's already grinded, you're good to go, okay? So those are our baskets. Back to the porta filter, um, you would use the basket of your choice and then you put it in there somewhere. We're gonna figure this out together and your grinds should come down. It also comes with this, which is the blade. It says it here, a twist blade. And um, the blade is pretty much used to level off your coffee. So once you've grounded it, you would take the blade and kind of like level it off so that you can get um, a good temp. Um, outside of that, other things that it comes with, it comes with a filter. Um, a water filter that you install to keep your coffee nice and fresh. Anything else? This is the temp. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, don't quote me on it, but this is what you use to pretty much like put your coffee down so that it's nice and even, right? We're learning together. Um, it also comes with a storage tray, so I'll remove this. A storage tray that you can store um, all of these additional tools in, which is really nice. On the back of the machine is the filter, and that's kind of it. So let's play around with it a little bit together. I did plug it in already, so... First time turning it on. <laughs> I'm such a dork. It says Breville. It says, welcome to Cafe Quality at Home. Just a few steps to configure your barista touch. So maybe I'll give you guys a closer look at this. Hold on. So we click power on, it says Breville, right? And then it says that little thing, welcome to Cafe Quality at Home, just a few steps to configure your barista touch. You click start. I love it that this is touch screen, by the way. We're gonna do Fahrenheit, and that saves to the machine. Install the bean hopper. This is the bean hopper. It's already installed. And then you'll fill the hopper with freshly roasted coffee. And then it just kind of goes through a checklist for you. I was right, it is called a porta filter. <laughs> um, flush the system, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Hold on. Oh, it just does it in the drip tray. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Uh, I think it's done. Lord, fun times. And now it says um, that your barista touch is now ready. Select the guide to find out more about your barista touch. So I can click on guide and get more into this, but I'm not gonna do all that with you guys. It is set and ready to go. So I think we're just gonna test it out and make like a latte or something, right? So I got my bean. I'm gonna do a latte. I know that I have to take this and insert it into this. Um, fun times, fun times. It's gonna be fun to master this. Yeah, I think this is where the razor comes in hand. Maybe you would just like even it off like like that. From what I've seen on these coffee streets, you take this and you go like that. I'm gonna take a tissue and just like wipe this off a bit. This is my first time, so trial and error, but I'm excited to learn this machine and get it down. And then we are gonna brew, so I'm gonna use this just because I think it's gonna be easier for me on, let's just try it out. So click on latte again, and we're doing a double, 
So guys, I just hit on latte and brew. It's heating up. It's heating up, I'm here, and it's brewing now. Goodness, I've gone and done it now. <laughs> Alrighty, so that seems to be a double shot. That was easy enough in hindsight. I feel like once I get a hang of this, it'll be pretty good. Um, and it was really fast. The steps are grind, brew, and milk. Now we're gonna do the milk part, so yeah. Now, guys, before we get to the milk part, this is supposed to be a Kona coffee, right? Um, my client got me it from Hawaii. It's honey macadamia milk chocolate. Smells good. Um, I wanna taste it. Wow. Lots of flavor. I'm excited to see what this tastes like in a latte. So let me put this aside and let me froth some milk, right? Let's let's do that part together. <laughs> so the model below this, the Barista Pro, you kind of have to um, foam the milk on your own. This, you can actually just put it right here. There's a button and it foams it to a nice consistency for you so you don't have to worry about that. So we're back at this again and I'm gonna put it here. Well, you're supposed to like insert this first. There we go. It's frothing. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. I hear you're supposed to wipe it off like that. And then it purges itself. Kinda cool. Okay, I've got my milk. I'm gonna pour that in. It's hot. This is a floppish, but you know, we do what we can. It's our first time. Uh, it wasn't terribly hot because I put it to the lowest setting that I could figure out right now. Um, and then I'm gonna figure out how to do that like on cold if I can, we'll see. I'm gonna pour the espresso in. Grab a straw, give it a little mix. Can't believe we made a drink on our first, our first try. And let's see what it tastes like. It's actually pretty good. Um, I don't have enough syrup in here, but just interesting enough to go through the entire process and use the machine and see how it works. Um, as you guys can see, quite the learning curve. I've got a lot to learn and to figure out. But first impressions, I would say, I think that it turned out pretty good. I think it's pretty easy once you just like read the manual a little bit. Um, I thought that it would be a lot more work into it. Of course, you know, with like your Nespresso machine, you just pop a pot in and it comes out. This is quite similar. You just put the beans in, you load the porter filter, you grind it, you take it out it comes out and then you make your latte or whatever the way that you would. So again, my first impressions of the machine is pretty good. I think that once I start using it, I'll definitely figure it out and it'll become a lot easier. But yeah, um, overall, really excited for my new purchase. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, drop them down below for me. I would love to share with you guys. I'm gonna be testing this out a lot over uh the span of this month also announcement i have decided to do a vlogmas um but we're doing vlogmas for shorts because i just don't have it in me to do full videos but for the first 25 days each day we're going to do a new short which will include nespresso virtuo nespresso original and my new barista touch as always guys thank you for stopping by Maison molly and i'll see you guys next time